Today on Home Theater Fanatics, we're gonna talk about the most important piece of equipment in your home theater, the chairs. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So today we're gonna to look at two chairs from htmarket.com and the brand is HT Design. And it's the Southampton, and this is a home theater, home cinema seat, and the Lincolnshire, which is more of a two channel or a general recliner, power recliner that you might find in a living room or maybe a media room. Um, you know, I'm really excited to step through these with you because this is, I think, a great alternative to some of the other brands that you've seen. Uh, they provide a really good value. And, uh, and more than that, they, they give you a lot of quality for the money that you put into these. Now, we're gonna go ahead and step through the unboxing process, then I'll assemble them and go over the different features that they offer and kind of what I think about them as we go through those steps. So to get started, let's look at me taking these out of the box as I get ready to move them to the basement. Packaging for both of the chairs is almost identical. Basically, you get a really big box that's stuffed with the chair and the chair is broken down into two pieces. So um, once you get the top of the box open, I figured that it would be probably easiest to peel the box off to reveal the chair itself. And then you can kind of make it through all the layers of plastic and you'll find a base and then the back of the chair in two separate pieces. Um, you can remove the back of the chair from the base and then carry those to wherever you need them to be in two pieces, which makes it easier to handle them. So literally the hardest part of setting up this chair is moving it to the final location. So you saw that unboxing is pretty straightforward. The chairs break down into two pieces. You carry them where you want them to be um, and you'll typically have to flip the base on its side to carry it because it can be too wide for some doors and for some stairwells if you need to go up or down. But once you get it there, you need to assemble the chair. And assembly is broken down into just a handful of steps. You have to deal with the power cable. You have to mount the back of the chair onto the base of the chair. You'll need to then Velcro the back uh, protective cloth from, uh, from the back to the bottom of the base of the chair so that it'll look nice and then just slide it into position after that. That's really all there is to it. Now, um, the electrical cabling it will vary from model to model. Some units have a outboard power brick, some don't. So just check and see what you've got. And if you've got a power brick, just look and see how the cables are and it'll be straightforward as to how that cables up. You might have a piece of cable that you're like, I don't know what to do with this. And I believe that that's just an extension to make things longer if you need it to be longer. Um, but uh, in any event, on uh, one of the chairs, I actually had one piece of cable extra that I didn't need to use. And it looks like it's just an extension. Now, once you have all of the power dealt with, then you'll want to mount the back. And if you look, there will be uh, two clasps on either side of the back that will mate to two posts on the rear of the base of the seat. You will just position the back of the chair, slide the uh, clasps on the, on the back of the chair onto the posts on the base of the chair, push and you'll get a click on each side and you're done. It doesn't take a lot of force. It's very easy, very straightforward. Once you have that back on, then you'll have that rear flap of material that you will need to then Velcro to the bottom of the chair. The Velcro's all there. You don't, you don't have to do anything special. Just pull it down tight and uh, push it under the edge of the back of the frame and the two pieces of Velcro will connect and it'll give you a nice, clean, smooth look on the rear. Once that's done, really all you have to do is then position the chair where you want it to be and plug the power in and you are done. That's all it takes. It's about five minutes to set the chair up uh, soup to nuts. Now that the assembly is done, and it was really straightforward. I mean, it just took a couple of minutes to pop everything in and then plug the power into the wall and you're done. We're gonna look at the features of these two different chairs. So we've got the Lincolnshire and the Southampton. And you know, while they look similar, there are quite a few differences in these two chairs. So the Southampton is what I think of when I think of a home theater chair, because this has all the kind of bells and whistles that you see in a home theater, while the Lincolnshire is more of a 
I don't know, just a, a regular recliner. This is what I would want in my two channel listening environment. And a row of four of these is what I would want in my home theater. And I'll show you why in just a second. Now, the things that are the same between these two is that they're both power recline and they also have power USB. So those features are identical. For your controls, let's start on this right-hand side. So first, you've got an LED light button and that turns on the lights in the cup holder. It also turns the lights on across the bottom and uh, this is a nice kind of cobalt blue. And then on the inside of this storage, and we'll talk more about that, you've got dual USB charger and the light comes on there as well. Now, it's not very bright here, but when in a completely dark room, it's pretty good. Now. Let's get to the uh, the fun stuff with the reclining. So on the far right hand side, I think you've got the let's relax button. Let's call it, let's call it the, we're opening up. And this is the first time I've done this. So let's see what this does. Oh yeah. Oh. All right, so that's, that's what you get. And I'm not a little guy, so I'm about six foot tall and I weigh 200 and a lot. <laughs> My wife is laughing behind the camera. Uh, so I'm probably larger than 90% of the people that you'll see sit in this seat. Now there's some taller people that would be 6'5", your head would probably be here or something like that. And you know, bigger than two, whatever I am. You know, I, I've got fists on either side of me of extra space. So I don't have any problems with space and my feet don't hang off so far that it's uncomfortable. So this, for me is an extremely nice uh, uh, comfort level. Now, the one thing I will say is that if my screen's not up there, then you know the headrest, I would want my head up at this point, but we'll get to that because I got something for you. And that's where in the more expensive models, you get into a powered headrest uh, that will let you do that. But you know, this, this, is, this is comfy. I really, I really like this. I get a lot of good support. All right, now the second button on the inside, I guess is the go down button. All right, we're going down and let's see. So this is, this is another position that I like to sit in. And this is typically where I'll watch uh, a movie at in this not fully reclined position, but about right here. So this is, you know, kind of what I think you would expect in this seat to watch a movie. All right, we'll let this down all the way. And now we'll move into what I call the hidden goodies. Because when I took this stuff out of the box, I didn't really know exactly what to expect. And I found things later. So when you take it out of the box and you saw that before, um, you know, it's basically just the base, the back, and then the power cables are looped up in the back. Well, if you open up your storage here on the right hand side, there are two mystery boxes. And you know, what, what the heck are these things? So, if you take a look closer in this storage, you'll see that this side is not very deep. Um, and I would say this is probably for remote control storage, that kind of thing. Um, but these boxes, let's see what we got in here. I think this is gonna be our cup holder protectors. And you might say, what is the cup holder protector? Well, this is a cup holder protector. You take this thing and you drop it in here and then you can do other stuff. I mean, this, has a rubberized bottom on it already. Um, but if you wanted to put, I mean, maybe nuts or something, peanuts in here, you could take that in, drop it in and then eat out of that. And then this will come out and clean up easily. And this should be a copy um, for the other sides, but let's just validate what we got in here. Yeah, so this is also a cup holder protector for the other side or a nut jar, whatever you wanna think about it. So, and it'll slide in over here now. As we move across, you have these two gadgets. This is actually where your accessories will plug in. And you can put in a tablet holder, you can put in a tray table, a wine glass holder, and they just pop in. You've got one on either side. They're protected by these plastic things, which go in the garbage. Now, finally, on this side, we have yet another storage uh, area. This one, though, is much different. Um, this is where the hidden USB charging ports are. So they're way down in here and I had to look for those. I was like, where the heck are they? Cause I thought they would be on the inside of the arm like most chairs, but they're in here. And this is nice because if you want to charge your phone while you're watching uh, a movie, you could put your phone in here and close this up. And if your phone is coming on and off with text or whatever, you don't get that light bothering you. Now also hidden is your free 
or might I say included in the low, low price, tray table. All right, so we'll take this out, covered in film. It's a nice, very, wow, super shiny black. And it is plastic on the bottom with some type of shiny plastic on top. So this isn't, this isn't wood or anything crazy. It's just a nice little plastic tray. And as you can see, you have this steel post. And if I do this correctly, it should just slide right in and that's all there is to it, right? Slides in and out. So this is much like an experience that you'd have at a movie theater. You know, if you wanted to have something here, you can uh, put your food on it, um, you slide it out, slide it around. And you could maybe have a tablet holder on this side and your popcorn over here and you're just, you're ready for the full experience, right? And you can get it out of the way. now. In a home theater, one seat is great, but it's really not gonna carry you all the way through. You need more. So these come in, uh, you know, as many as you want, really. You could do a row of two, row of three, row of four. You can do them as straight. You can also do them as angled. So there's a piece in the middle that makes these things curve out. You can also uh, assemble these as uh, love seats. So you could do a love seat in the middle and then two on the sides with arms, whatever you prefer. Um, and you know, this is all configurable on their website and you can purchase them in whichever way that you'd like to. So that is the Southampton home theater, which I think kind of very specifically is home theater, um, or you could use this in a media room as well, um, as compared uh, over here to what I think is a more of a two channel, or maybe something you'd put in a study kind of seat. And we're going to take a look at this now. Welcome to my study or my two channel seat or whatever you want to think about, right? However you, uh, however you think about it. Uh, this seat, the um, Lincolnshire is I don't want to say it's more upscale than the Southampton because it's not really more upscale. It has less features, but I think it's really targeted at a different audience. This, like I said before, something that I would put in a study or a two channel listening room um, because it feels a little more elegant, especially with this real wood uh, accent on the front. And then if you can see down at the bottom, you've also got feet on this as well, which are really, really nice also. So this one looks a little bit more sophisticated than the home theater model. Um, although it costs a little bit less, I guess, because it does have less features. So you don't have LED lights. Um, you don't have any storage in this unit, but you have a, a better look. Now, the comfort on this is super awesome. I mean, it, it's, it's, it, it really fits to my curvy figure, <laughs> I guess you'd say. Um, so it's very relaxing. Um, the USB charging is on the inside of the arm here. So uh, as opposed to these units where the USB charging is inside of the storage, this is what you would expect to see on the side here. And there is a slight blue light that's lit up, I guess, all the time so that you can find this. I don't know that there's any way to turn it off because there are no controls uh, here on the top. Uh, your recline controls are here and they're just two buttons. And let's, uh, let's see what happens with this. Hopefully all the power is done correctly for me here. Now we're gonna go ahead and recline. And if you notice, I've pulled this out from the wall a lot more than the Southampton. So this Lincolnshire has a different recline mechanism internally, and it takes up a lot more space. So this needs to be a lot further from the wall if you're gonna do a full recline. So let's go ahead and see how this works. Whoa. Okay, this, 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 this is definitely more of a, I think a standard kind of recliner where you would just get on this thing and man, just knock out. It's like, it feels like I'm in business class on an airplane in a full life flat seat. So yeah, this is a much different style of recline than you see in the, the Southampton. So in this Lincolnshire, this absolutely, I think is more of a relaxation chair. And this is, man, if I wanted to kick back and listen to some music and close my eyes, this, this is the one. Now, um, you've seen the features in the Lincolnshire versus the Southampton, um, but there are some extra items that were sent along as well that I think really put the cherry on top for these chairs for, I think, a lot of different use cases. We're gonna go ahead and pull those out now so you can check those out. On to the accessories. And it feels kind of like it's Christmas in here uh, because I was sent four extra accessories and we're gonna plow through those now. So this, is a tablet holder. Uh, 
So if you like to use some kind of tablet as a remote control for your uh, home theater, this is very nice because you just slap this in and this guy can hold a lot of different sizes. I, I haven't measured it, so I'm not sure. And it's even got holes on the side here so you can get to your control buttons. And I assume that this is something that they'll update over time as new models come out. Um, now, I don't think you can get like a full-size iPad Pro in here, but you can get a regular size iP iPad in here and uh, that would be pretty darn slick uh, to have this available. And you can spin it around, you can use it on both sides, so either person would be able to check that out. From there, we move on to a wine glass holder. So if you are sophisticated in your theater, instead of putting your beer in your cup holder, you could take this, pop it in, and drop a goblet in, right? Maybe you have a big stein or whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, or I'm sure there's other things that you could put in here that I'm just not thinking of uh, right now as well, but this would allow you to um, more securely hold a wine glass. Now, this thing, what is this you might ask? Well, this is for my wife because she is always, always, always cold. And uh, they've sent over a monstrous, humongous blanket. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. <laughs> Let me just see. What do we got here? All right, oh, here it is. What does that say, home theater, home cinema? Home cinema, and oh yeah. I'm getting ready for this movie now. Oh. So yeah, nice blanket, uh, good quality. Um, I don't really know how to judge quality of this kind of stuff, but works for me. And then finally, I think probably what is the most important piece for me, and this one is pretty, pretty cool. And this is what will make this seat work for me. And it is a neck pillow, all right? And I'm not really sure how this works, but I assume you take this, put the zipper side to the back, you drop the weight over the back, and it sits like that. And then when you're reclined, you can move this around where you want it to. It's got a little bit of weight to keep it in place. And uh, let's see what happens. Let's see if this is gonna give me the magic that I want when I'm watching a movie. Oh yeah, that's it. That's, that's what I needed. This has gone from four stars to five stars with the pillow because this is exactly where I want my head at. So this is the full kit. You've seen the cup holders, you've seen the wine glass holders, you've seen the trays, you've seen the pillows, the blankets, the USB charging, the lights, the whole deal. This is an awesome seat. And pricing on this is under a thousand bucks. So you can't go wrong there either. For these, less than $4,000, and I'm sure that they go on sale from time to time as well, highly, highly recommended. And if you're not gonna be in a theater environment, this guy right here, perfect for any living room, any two channel listening area. Just remember, it has to be further away from the wall if you wanna go into that complete lay down um, kind of relaxation mode. So that's everything you need to know about the Southampton and Lincolnshire HT design chairs from HT Market. Dot com. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Make sure to ring the bell so you'll be notified when new content drops. Also, let me know in a comment if you own these, and if you do, what you think about them. And with that, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.